Hello and good afternoon. Today we're talking about rods. Uh, and what I've laid out for you today is uh, a turbo piston from a 606 and an NA piston from a 606 uh, and a turbo rod and an NA rod. Because what I'm gonna show you today is we now produce a rod for the NA engine builds. So uh, we all speak about the weaknesses and the differences between a turbo 606 and an NA 606. And the main one that always crops up is the connecting rod. Now you can't directly use a turbo upgrade connecting rod in the NA engine because the wrist pin size is different. And I'd like to show you that today. So if we have a quick look at this then, turbo piston and NA piston, um, we'll go over the differences on those in a second, but this is the two wrist pin size differences. Now look at those. So this is the turbo one, and this is the NA one. As you can see, it's very slightly smaller, very, very slightly smaller. Um, and not only is it smaller in diameter, but it's actually smaller in length because the turbo piston has uh, a larger running surface for the pin to distribute its load over, which makes sense, doesn't it? So um, we've basically made the rod direct fit for the stock wrist pin. Now, the interesting thing, which I'll tell you, um, just doing my research and interested in other engines, um, the 606 has 87 mil pistons, and if you look at a lot of 87 mil pistons, it, you'll generally find a Supra piston. I think Supras are 86 as standard, but you can get an 87. So I thought, hmm, I wonder what sort of size wrist pin in comparison to one of these is. Um, well, I was quite surprised. Now there's, there's not a lot of difference between these two, but let me tell you that a, a Supra, a 2J wrist pin is a lot smaller than both of those. Because obviously my first concern is, you know, is that wrist pin going to be a problem? Well, when you consider uh, something like a 2J that's making thousands of horsepower, yes, it doesn't have the compression ratio, and yes, it doesn't, it's not diesel. But um, the fact that those much smaller wrist pins are handling big horsepower gave me a little bit of confidence, like a little glimmer at the end of the tunnel that we're probably going to be all right with the NA wrist pin. So... We went ahead and produced the, uh, these rods. Obviously, you'll notice uh, the twin oiling holes in the top, um, which obviously differentiates them from a generic Chinese rod. Um, uh, and also the uh, wrist pin diameter, the, the hole in the little end of the connecting rod is correctly sized for the pins. So you don't have to get these machined or reamed um, our rods are direct fit. They'll go straight in your engine. Um, so yeah, let's have a little look at the pistons because it's interesting while I've got this in bits, it, this, this little setup. So this is a turbo piston and this is something interesting for you to have a look at. This is a, an NA piston. Uh, look at the actual, the amount more material the turbo piston has uh, to support the wrist pin, which is quite interesting um, compared to the NA. It's, it's considerably less. Obviously, we know these to handle mega horsepower. So if you're making yourself a reliable uh, NA, we would suggest a reliable NA at sort of 400 horsepower, you're going to be safe with this. Um, but it just shows how overbuilt these are. Now, another thing that I'm going to show you, if you actually look here, you've got two holes in the piston. Now the oil squirter jets that live in the bottom of the block, they basically spray oil up, not just under the piston crown, but they actually spray it into, I believe it's this hole, they spray it into this hole and it goes into a hollow section in this piston and cools the crown from the inside, which is quite fascinating, isn't it? It's really good piston temperature control, but the NA doesn't have it. So the other interesting thing about this piston cooling setup 
is one of the reasons why the stock rod has the two oiling holes in the top of the small end. So the, if you actually look, these holes here, hang on, could do with something to point with, just bear with me. So these holes here, they uh, push into the oil control ring here. So ignore those. These here go into the um, hollow section in the piston. And these little ones here also go into the hollow section in the piston. So what happens when that thing gets pressurized with oil, it sprays oil back down those two small holes directly at the top of the rod. And that's why they're there to obviously capture that oil. But the interesting thing is the NA version doesn't have that, but they maintained the same uh, theory, even though it, it doesn't have that. Anyway, it's interesting. But yes, so there you go. The inexpensive, the same, um, they're gonna be the same cost as the turbo version rods, but obviously they have the correct pin size for the NA pistons, which is good. Um, like I say, I would recommend, you know, the, the rod assembly is gonna be way more than capable of going well north of 600 horsepower. Um, but will the pin stand up to it? Yes, I think it probably will. Like I just mentioned, it's quite a lot bigger than a 2J pin. Maybe it might have a slightly bigger bore inside. Um, but I certainly think it's gonna be strong enough. Cooling, like control, so when we're considering um, high fuel loads for long duration, you know, lots of heat on top of the piston, then maybe the NA piston's not gonna be suitable. People are gonna say, well, why don't we just get the turbo piston and put the turbo piston on an upgrade rod and stick it in the NA? Well, yeah, you could do that. You could do that because they both have oil squirters, um, but the pistons are not easily available. Even the aftermarket ones are not available at the moment. Uh, and the genuine Mercedes ones, when they were available, were 400 pounds each. Mm. Which is why, if you need to do an overbore and a, and a larger piston, we always advise to put a sleeve in the block instead. But we've already discussed that. So there you go. That's a bit of information about rods. You can, you've now got a, an available rod for your NA uh, and a turbo if, if you're building a turbo. I hope that's been of some uh, useful information to you guys and uh, we'll see you on the next one.